it's 10 o'clock. Thank you, Mr. McIntosh. Once in a while, you guys may hear me say that in my videos, and I also get questions all the time asking me what application I use to allow my Mac to do that. Actually, guys, that feature is built into OS 10, which is sweet. To activate it, open your system preferences, go into date and time under the system category. Normally, clock is not already highlighted, so click clock on the far right. Then check this box down here where it says announce the time. This is where you can choose how often Mr. McIntosh talks to you. You can choose quarter hour, half hour, or hour. Personally, I think half hour and quarter hour get a little repetitive and annoying, so I go with only hour, which is perfect for me. Click customize voice to um, customize voice as it states. Uh, for the system voice, you can change between three males and three females and show more voices, but those are the less used voices. Um, you don't really use those, but I, I just like the system voice, which is Alex, which comes preloaded with Leopard as the default one. And then you can change the custom rate between slow and fast, normal, and then the custom volume, which is very handy too. So so if you're like blessing music and you want Mr. McIntosh to say the nah, time, you don't have to blow out your speakers or kill your friends. You can put the volume way down here if you want. Personally, I like it up here. And let's see what he sounds like on slow. Hi. I'm a new voice for Leopard. Yeah, that's kind of freaky if you ask me. But if you drag it up to fast, you can see what Mr. McIntosh sounds like if, I don't know, he's drinking Mountain Dew all day like I do. Hi, I'm a new voice for Leopard. Yeah, that pretty much sounds like me. Alright, so usually I keep mine between normal and fast, and the fast, I mean, and the um, middle mark between normal and fast. So, the custom rate, uh, custom volumes right about there. Click OK. Close system preferences, and you are good to go. Thanks for watching.